So today I started work on a pause menu. It's not fully functional yet, so if I click, it won't actually go into these sub menus. Uh, and obviously the graphics and art for this are all just placeholders. Uh, as you can tell by the default Unreal Engine emoticons <laughs> uh, and the buttons changing in the squares. Uh, but yeah, I did all of this starting today. It turned out pretty well, and I have it working with controller, or if you have the mouse turned on, uh, it'll work with the mouse too. Uh, I utilized a lot of different widget things that I've learned recently. Uh, I'm basically I'm using borders and boxes uh, and all the such just for this. This is just the pause menu itself. But when you actually hit pause, the widget that pulls up is this one, uh, which will blur the background and it will have a switcher that will have either the pause menu or uh, as I create at runtime, widgets for the idle menu or the settings menu. So basically, if you were to click on here, it will open your missions. If you click on here, it'll be your idle. Uh, click on here, it'd be your settings. Uh, and restart and exit will just pull up little prompt windows. Uh, and none of what I just described is functional yet, but I have it available to be put in with this switcher here. So it won't let me change it right now because uh, it's during runtime when those other ones are added. So there's just this one for now. Uh, to actually have it control the movements, because I separated these, I had to do something a bit strange. Uh, but I basically, I wanted to put it on the player controller. So basically when the player is moving with the joystick, uh, if you're paused, it'll enter here. And if you're not using a keyboard, and if the joystick is pushed far enough, and you're allowed to move up and down, uh, which this boolean, all this does is basically make it so it doesn't go through fast if you hold it. You have to like press it every time. Uh, because once it isn't being pushed far enough, it resets and allows you to do a new input. Um, and then if you're doing up, or if you're doing down, go through this logic that will result in controlling the menu down or up for each different widget blueprint that it could be. So for each widget blueprint, I basically just have an event for controlling it up and down that controls uh, the styles for the elements on there to detect if they're hovered or not. Uh, and I made functions for these. So there's no way to just drag off a button and do set hovered or anything like that. So what I ended up doing was basically I just alternate the normal and hover style whenever switch button style is called. So it keeps swapping them back and forth and it swaps them anytime you go over it. So for the borders, um, when this is finished, these won't be colored boxes. These will just be a border. Uh, so I'm just gonna tint the border to a certain color based on whether or not you are on it or not. It'll be yellow for now, which is why when I go in and press play, uh, the boxes just turn yellow. And the buttons, uh, the style there, I just haven't set anything to it. So I could, I could change that color just in the designer. Uh, but yeah, a start on the menu, pretty sweet. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, that's about it for now, though.